All right, well, QR codes are a very popular way to get information. However, scanning can also lead to a lot of ripoffs. So Kenya Ross is here tonight with ways to avoid it. Kenya? Yes, Jennifer, they're called quick response codes, but they're commonly known as QR codes. And remember, they became especially popular when restaurants offered contactless menus during the pandemic. Here are ways to not put yourself in harm if you see those codes out in public. Keep in mind, scammers can create QR codes to trick people into visiting fraudulent websites or downloading malware that steals your personal information. This is according to the Social Security Administration. Scammers can find ways to be sneaky about where to place QR codes. Some examples include putting them on parking meters, magazines, or social media advertisements. But here's what you can do to avoid this sharp practice. First, verify the source. SSA says, before scanning a QR code, make sure it comes from a reliable source. And then, always inspect the code. Look for signs of tampering, unusual colors, or misspellings. The government administration says, if you see something suspicious, avoid scanning that QR code. Also, is someone rushing you to scan a QR code? Be aware of urgent requests using QR codes. A scammer may pose as a Social Security employee, claiming that you have an outstanding debt or a problem with your account, and they'll demand immediate payment. The scammer may send fake QR codes by text or email requesting the payment. But don't fall for it. Social Security will never request any form of payment using a QR code. And the Social Security Administration says QR codes are a convenient way to access information, but consider the dangers. I'll have these tips listed on canoe.com to help you stay protected. Jennifer?